Welcome back to the Road to Excellence series for Super Smash Bros. Melee, where I try to become the absolute best that I can at this game. And I thought, what better way to really dig in and improve than look at a tr actual tournament set that I played recently. This was back at the end of September. This was the AFK Monthly in the Cross Lanes area. And I am playing Marth here against the Fox Jeff Fuel. Uh, this is a best of three set. This is round two of winner's bracket. And I'm just going to dig in and start to analyze. And that's not a very good start for me. And you can see my little smirk there. So against Fox, what I like to do is apply a lot of safe pressure. Uh, mostly keeping myself grounded. Because whoever gets the other character above them is going to be in a better position because that's how these combos work. Fox gets a lot of up air follow-ups and back airs and things that just box Marth out. But on the ground, you can uh, the Fox can use Shine and uh, just a lot of those things to get going. Whereas Marth relies on two th basic things. That is the down tilt, where I just run up and hold down, and that uh, extends the sword onto the ground. And then there's also the grab, which you can space very well, and you can just get all kinds of follow-ups off of up throw into up tilts and just platform tech chases. And that's going to be one of the weak points in this set for me, is just not getting those follow-ups. It's like I know what, exactly what I want to do, and those things will work, but I'm just not executing on them. So right there, that was a missed tech where I could have rolled or gotten up in place on that platform. And uh, it doesn't look like too much of a punish ended up happening off that. But you see, he'll just go in for these running shines, and it'll put me out of position, and I don't get to do the things that I like to do, so I just have to kind of fall back as best I can and reset. And right there, that's that grab. But I went for a forward throw instead of an up throw, and see, he, uh, the percentage went up, and he was able to do a DI that allowed him to get out of potential follow-ups. And right there, my DI was not... Well, I could have smashed the eyed that, but that's a whole other story. But the, I'm in a bad position right now, so this game is looking pretty much like a loss unless I'm somehow able to pull it back, and again, the down air just not working right that. So, really just looking for an opening right now. I don't want to get too overly aggressive, but at this point, what's it going to hurt? Because he's most likely going to win this game, and uh, of course he get, eventually does. But you see that he'll just put this well-spaced pressure. And I'm putting moves out in places that make sense, except for that dash attack, of course, as I say that. But I'm just getting outmaneuvered, outplayed. It's just not going well. So, generally, what I want for a counter pick is Final Destination, which I ended up getting. But he bans Yoshi's Story, which is kind of a thing where if a Marth forward smashes a lot, you might get a tip or get lucky and get a kill. But he switches to Falco, gives me FD, and I'm very confident on this stage. Chain grabs are a big deal, and I know how to do those well. I don't know how to get the best punishes, but I know how to get punishes that will kill him. And you're going to see that throughout this game. This is basically the part of the set where I do exactly what I need to do. That side B was a big mistake on his part, and I capitalized. My execution is looking far better here. So already I'm turning it up and I'm just focusing on hitting the things that I need to get. Right there, just overextending at the right times. I honestly think, like, that back air, just getting on that little bit extra percentage. Look at that spacing. That up tilt was not the best, but still, I'm taking advantage of these opportunities that I have. And I was trying to get a Ken combo right there, but he DI'd inward so that he would go toward the stage, and it was actually a sour spot hit, so I didn't get the, uh, the dunk on that one. I could have gone for it right there, but I was afraid that I would miss a jump input afterward that wouldn't allow me to recover, so I didn't worry about it, even hitting it. Right there, I wanted to throw him off and see if I could cheese him and get a quick kill rather than having to finish out the entire chain grab. But honestly, I probably should have just went for the chain grab because if you're Marth and you don't extend your combos as long as you possibly can, 
that is basically saying here you can come right back into this game because I am not going to take the chance to combo you as best as I can however I am putting myself in a much better position overall so I like what I'm doing as far as that and I'm not going for shield grabs every time that he comes down on my shield with pressure because I'm expecting that shine now right here, he, he gets a lot of pressure going, and it's decent pressure. He had some lasers that I was having a uh, tough time avoiding, and he sets up for that forward smash very well. So, I don't know, I think he probably should have stuck with Fox, but because it was FD, I can understand him wanting to use the lasers, because he can get that laser lock right there. And it's just things like that, but I, I'm really confident in my execution on this stage, so this is probably going to be one that I practice a little bit less. That down air would have been so sick if I hit that. But I just want to focus on the platform follow-ups on other stages, and I think that's going to really help me advance my game as Marth against these spaces. That was a bad down air on his part, just coming down. It wasn't spaced like it should have been. However, I didn't get a big punish off of it. That, however, is a big punish. So, two stock, pretty solid victory on that one. And I, I'd say that's probably the highlight game of the set for me. Things just went my way, and I was executing pressure in the ways that I needed to. And you'll see what happens in this next game, where he really takes advantage of a lot of the unfortunate things that happened to me. Is that I'm just not executing on things, and I'm throwing out some moves that I really shouldn't be throwing out. So it's basically the opposite of everything that happened in that game. I should expect him to get those tech rolls on the platforms like that. And to counter that, those tech rolls, I either have to be fast enough to get a follow-up with that up tilt or I have to do an aerial like a neutral air on that platform and that edge guard he got as well where I just jumped and he shined it's very bad I need to uh, mix up like with delays on the recovery just to give myself a, a chance to come in but as you'll see I'm using that down tilt quite a bit and it's be basically my best option right here just as long as he's grounded, it's how I'm going to keep him out and keep him from just jumping on top of me, doing a drill shine or wave shine, whatever he wants to do. I just got to keep him outside as far as that goes. That was not the best DI. It allows him to get an easy up air follow up. If I had DI uh, up and away, it would have been much better. That was a bad spacing on shield. So he just basically got a free stock off of that. And here I'm just going to waste out the invincibility because of this stage transformation. I don't want to engage him over there. And I don't want to get cornered in between him and that tree right there so he can just do infinite shine, uh, drill shines on me there. So right here I just basically want to apply decent pressure without taking too much damage so that when it gets back to the normal straight stage transformation, I can just play my game as I intend to. Good down tilt uh, coming out for me there. I like that neutral air. That would have been a stock if I hadn't fallen down right there. So, again, just execution things. And he got that shine. Basically, all of that stemmed from me missing my punish. And it was putting me in an unfavorable position. I didn't hit the tech there. So, things are just coming out sloppy. Ooh, that can combo is so nice. And just one more thing that I really haven't mentioned that I did notice throughout this set is that I threw out a lot of forward smashes that really ha I had no business doing because they wouldn't hit. And especially at low percents, it just isn't worth it. At higher percents, I could see gambling that maybe. But, you know, it, it's something, again, if you do it too much, it's going to be predictable. And that's kind of what I struggled with during that set. So that was my first match analysis uh, for this series. If there's anything that I could do to improve at this, uh, please let me know because I'm definitely going to do more of these as I find m myself on more streaming or streamed sets at these tournaments. And I'm definitely still looking to improve and do the absolute best I can in the coming months and years at this game. Melee is a beautiful game, and I hope you all enjoy this experience with me. So. Like, share, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I will see you next time.